Um, hello everyone, this is Donna of Prima Donna Crafts and I'm back again to share with you um, another project which is um, inspired by Susie of Creative Cafe Girl. She did the Curious, um, an album called the Curiosity Shop uh, mini album and um, it um, has tutorials and I follow the tutorials and I wish to thank Susie very much for this um, lovely um, idea. Um, it's a great, great um, project and I'm really pleased with the way um, my mini and box turned out. So before that, um, I'll just show you some of the products that I used. So the paper stack was from this collection, the Printry, and um, by Prima Marketing. And then you use quite a lot of cardstock to create the base and I went for Tim Holtz um, uh, Manila cardstock by Ranger. And uh, th this is actually expensive, um, but I didn't have anything else um, and I thought this would be sturdy and worth um, the cost. And uh, inside I did use some of these lovely journaling note cards, you know, can't get enough of them. Um, really pretty. And um, then for the title I used this bow bunny. Um, tags one of them so this is the bow bunny tag um you know the paper is so decorative and um vintage looking so um, i just wanted to keep it that way so you start off by making the box and mine turned out like this so pretty you know it's got words which are really really um and even the word gratis there you know can you imagine <laughs> And um, Susie made hers top loading and I made mine um, side loading. Um, there are two options. And that is the, the back. You know, it's um, very beautiful. Um, so you pull out and as I said, you know, the, this paper stack has got journaling already done and does all the hard work. So it says remembering these special moments with you, which I thought was a lovely title. So there are lots of options. I could add photographs here or leave it plain. And then the inside I did a bit different because Susie had booklets inside her two minis. Um, I decided to just create this flap and... Um, and there's so much of room for journaling you know I could I, I was thinking of having this waterfall kind of style but um, I ended up with just one flap and uh, then these two journaling cards as well so mine is a bit different to Susie's and then of course you know because you've got that room there you know you could embellish if you wanted but I thought that this was already um, beautiful as it is so you could have had I could have added some flowers and that sort of stuff but I didn't want it to be too fuzzy and um, actually I was thinking of using this for something but um, unfortunately the occasion um, or the idea for using it for this this thing I had in mind is um, scratched it's not going to work out so I'm just um, a bit sad about it but never mind life goes on so this one I just left it plain because the paper was so lovely um, and um, this is how it looks so yes you know I could do the waterfall eventually when I decide what um, I want to do with this you know, there's plenty of room. You could do it that way or landscape style. It would work. And, you know, there's um, a margin of, um, I think it's half an inch. So there's plenty of room, you know, where if you wanted to add more pages, it could work. So this is how it turned out. And um, Kudos to Susie for doing um, a series of tutorials to explain very um, clearly what you need to do. So, um, yes, that's um, what I have got to share 
today and um, thank you very much for watching and uh, speak to you again soon. Bye!